Good morning, Leo, and welcome to your Sunday Angel and Spells reading. It's actually the Sunday morning. <laughs> so we're going to be starting with the Angel Tarot cards. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. If you enjoy the reading or it resonates, Leo, please like, wow, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you'll know when I release more videos. Anything else for Leo? Wow. Well, now that you have a portion of the deck, <laughs> let's see here. So your first card, uh, Six of Air. This is the Six of Swords. You know, it's really crazy. I actually have this with somebody else and all I could see was fire. And here I am now realizing these are all the unicorns bright in the background. Isn't that crazy? It took me seven readings of seeing, well, I've only seen this once or twice before. So in this tonight, but wow. But here they are. It's like they're going away from feeling like they're on fire and lit up to cool, green, serene, the calm water. Things are looking up. The end of difficult situation. Taking a trip. Be going somewhere, Leo? I'm aware of what's going on in the world, but that doesn't mean you can't go somewhere. I mean, you're not going to actually go and be with a thousand people, right? The Empress lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others ah she's surrounded by all the animals the empress is the mother of all the zodiac so you're moving on to calmer waters but you're being you're nurturing this is good who are we nurturing again see i love that give birth to your dreams i like that nurture yourself and others it is truly the empress card Wow, and look at, the next is the seven of fire, which is seven of wands. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So I think that as you're nurturing yourself and moving on, you're making decisions maybe that maybe you haven't made before. Maybe those around you aren't always necessarily so happy. Well, not always, but aren't necessarily happy. But you need to stick to what you believe in. So that's not always hard. Boundaries are not an easy thing to maintain. Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. To me, it's that stuck energy. And I think that if you're not used to making decisions and if you're not used to defending yourself because you really don't necessarily take care of yourself, you just kind of stick with where you are and you don't make any changes, it's very hard. I mean, look at her. She kind of looks like she's stuck. Two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. I think in this case, it can go either one way or the other, that maybe there is a relationship that is growing, but I also think that when it comes to forgiveness and what's the last part, the positive uh, resolution of conflict, that's talking about you sticking up for yourself. That, you know, you may be arguing you feel about what you want to do, but you may not be arguing. It may just be that they're not used to whatever you're doing, like this is a whole new you, but in light of Monday's solar eclipse, the, the moon stuff, it could be, you know, interesting to say the least. Queen of air, independent, that's the queen of swords, independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So. This to me is about independence. This is you kind of coming of age. That's what it appears to be. You're moving on from maybe the scared kid. You're learning how to take care of yourself and taking care of yourself as you grow up, you have to face peers and possibly uh, parents or whatever 
in making those decisions. And it's kind of hard because, I mean, look at this. Tell me she don't look stuck. She looks like she's buried in mud or dirt. And she just can't get out. That's never good. So it's like being stuck in the trappings of what you were and wanting to get out. And this Two of Cups, the relationship that continues to grow, maybe the relationship with somebody else, and maybe it's a relationship with you. And you begin to resolve the conflict within you. You know, am I making the right decision? Am I not? And independence, the queen of the queen of air, the queen of swords is the one that I always say, she has become guarded. She's, she's, and I hate to say it, so it's so similar, so similar to the nine of uh, wands with me sometimes. But this is objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in situation. And with Monday's eclipse, this is beginnings and endings. So this could be like you, and it's going to take some time. It's not going to be on that day at a specific moment, but this is the beginning of a change of how you see. To me, it feels like the world card almost. So let's see, Virgo, what else? What else do you need to know? Here's your spells portion. Wow. And they fell at the same time, so I don't know if it matters order here. Ha. Ah. Good luck. See, you have good luck coming your way. So when you see that black cat, don't be concerned. It's just good luck. See, look at this. This is this cat has, has a crown on its head. So like I said, I think you are evolving, you're growing. You have the career card. So maybe you are doing something with your career. Maybe your career is where you're, you know, changing it or something. And you also have commitment. Like I said, I think this is about two different things. One is about growing up, you know, growing up, working, taking on the responsibility of working. And the other one is about commitment. That's that two of cups. So I think some of you may be moving on to, um, with commitment, I want to say an engagement possibly marriage so looks wonderful that's an awesome reading there leo be strong and uh good luck thank you so much for being here again remember take time for you bye bye